All right, in this lesson, we're going to take the eyeball and send this back over to Mudbox, just under File, send to Mudbox, and you can either uh, start a new scene if you want to do that, or you can add it to the current scene, which I'm going to do. So you can see it's connecting to Mudbox down here. And then go ahead and open that up. And there it is. So it's kind of in its unsmooth state. And I'm going to come under the object list and select that. And hold down shift and hit D. Start a little subdivision on here. So I'm up to level three. You can see the polygon account right there. Uh, that's probably fine for what I'm doing here. I'm not going for anything, you know, super. Uh, uh, super detailed or realistic, so uh, it's probably enough polygons there to paint on. And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, isolate this, so that's all we see right there. And apply a new material. To assign a mud box material to that. And again, I'm going to choose 50% gray. That's that right there and turn down specularity all the way. So choose black there. So I'm painting on a flat surface. Go ahead and close that. And I'm lining this up uh, kind of directly into camera right there. And I'm going to come over, select my projection brush, come under image browser. And I've got an image of a, an iris right here. So I'm going to select that. If I don't like the color, I can always change it. Turn that into a stencil and go back to 3D. And I need to kind of line these up here. So I'm going to hold S key down and scale this back in here until it fits right about there on the edge. And I'm going to need to rotate my object a little bit. And if this doesn't work completely the first time, always go back and redo it. So I'm going to take the strength up to 100%, symmetry off, and uh, created a, uh, I just clicked on it, so it's asking me to create a new layer for this object. Iris color, using a 1K target and diffuse, clicking OK. And I'm now going to paint on that. So you can see it's kind of grabbing the white right there, which I don't want. So I'm going to just undo that and um, take my brush size down. Come in here and start working my way out. And uh, I'm not real happy that it's doing that. I'm going to have to kind of clean that up. I think it actually needs to uh, kind of get scaled down just a little bit more and adjusted. Let's try that now. All right, it's looking a little better. Okay. I believe it is selecting that white color I have over there on the brush, and kind of filling in where I don't have anything painted yet. Okay, so just covering all of that and coming back out to my image browser, I've got this um, kind of eyeball grad. You can see a little bit of the veins in there and set that as my stencil back to 3D and scale that up and kind of position the eye in the center there. Okay, you can start to see some of the, the veins right there. Okay, so I'm gonna, actually gonna zoom in a little bit and then go ahead and scale this up so I can see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just hit undo. Uh, I think we're gonna need another layer for this. So I'm gonna just create a new layer. Call this um, iGrad. OK. 
Okay. And right now it's sitting on top. I'm going to move the layer down underneath there and we won't see this. Okay, so we're just coming around here. And if I find I don't really like the veininess of this, if it's not looking real good with my cartoon character, I'll come back here and kind of knock them down with another color. So I'm just rotating this now and kind of painting some of those out. I think it might look a little better without them. I think he looks a little, little bloodshot. <laughs> Okay, so I want to kind of get this darker color towards the back in here. Making my brush size a little bigger. And um, just kind of working my way around. And I'm probably not going to see back any further than this, so I don't think I'm going to spend any more time painting beyond that point. And I'm probably going to come in here and just sort of select the color and paint without all of this uh, veining in here. Just kind of go around here first and that. It's probably looking a little blotchy still. Get a little unevenness right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of turn that off, take a look at it. So it's a little uneven. Uh, I think what I might do is just go ahead and use the paintbrush. Um, use this uh, stamp right here to kind of break it up. And select color, the eye drop. I like this color right here. Since it's cartoony, uh, I'm going to keep it kind of on kind of on the white side here. Yeah, I think it looks a little better without all the veins in there. All right, so just kind of blending, knocking down the veins a little bit. Might just leave a little bit in there. Okay, and then as I start progressing towards the back here, uh, I have to kind of change my color. Hit that right there. And darken my color down. Something more like that. And take my brush size up just to soften it. Okay. I think I need to lighten that up again. There we go. All right, it's looking okay. Maybe a little bit more right here. I like kind of the painted look a little more instead of the, the veins popping out. Just kind of spreading a little bit of that darker color down here. And you can go ahead and paint the back side if you want to do that. Um, it's not really going to show. I'm just going to complete it. Go ahead and do that. Right. Okay, so we got to erase a little bit here. Take the erase tool, turn the uh, stamp off, and I take my brush size down, and make sure that I'm erasing. And turn that off. So I 
Brush size is going to have to come down a little bit more. And just kind of grabbing that. I think I'm probably going to have to uh, change the order of these. That's just middle mouse uh, button, dragging that down. And come over here to the iris. I'm actually going to just shut this off right here altogether and um, go ahead and turn that up 100%. I started painting on here by accident. And just sort of come in here and erase that white that kind of bled out. And it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Um, eyes are not actually perfectly round. Uh, our irises and our pupil are kind of misshaped and she looks a little bit more realistic if you kind of don't have perfectly straight edges on them. So I don't mind if it eats in a little bit here. Kind of takes the CG curse off of it. Okay, just kind of quickly. Let's Grabbing the top here. Okay, that's probably good enough. If you want to go through it and make sure you, you know, got everything cleaned up the way you want it, go ahead and do that. And I'm probably going to leave mine uh, like that. Turn that back on, and I think that looks okay. Uh, I'm not so sure about the green color of the, the iris, so uh, I'm going to adjust the color on it and try something else. Well, it may not actually work as anything other than, than green. All right, so I think it's going to probably stay in the green, greenish brown range here. All right. Okay, so there's my eye. I'm going to go ahead and save the scene with that. Right mouse click over the object, and uh, we're going to deselect. Actually, we're going to show all. That will bring everything back here. Guy is actually upside down. <laughs> there he is. Okay, so he's got a an eye painted in there. Um, I'm probably going to go back and clean up some of those edges right there. I'm not real happy with that kind of lighter area against the dark. It kind of looks like it's um, sitting on top when it should be kind of feeling like it's recessed in there. Okay. And like I said, we're only going to make one of these and then we'll duplicate it over in Maya once we're back there. But I think we've got everything in our scene right now, uh, with the exception of specular maps, and we're going to do that in the next lesson.